Best years for Hamtramck High School athletics. Football team qualified for the playoffs for the first time ever. Soccer team was undefeated. But now both teams are sidelined, not because of anything they did on the field. Jamie Edmonds live with the story to explain. Jamie. Devin, in my hand, two emails some from Superintendent Thomas Nietzsche to his district. One on October 19th saying the football team has to forfeit the season. One on October 23rd saying the soccer team has to as well. I talked to a player today who says he's just heartbroken. I mean, it's just been all hard work, motivational talks with coaches and just wanting to win it all. The Cosmos were undefeated, 12-0 and and just won districts when it all came crashing down Monday. I mean, I felt heartbroken, you know, just all that work for what? And it's an, an administration problem, and now they take it on the kids, and they take our season away. It's just... The reason the team was sidelined? School officials found out one player was ineligible under the MHSAA academic rules. He played in, in one game for 10 minutes, and it was one of the tournament games. Just like that, the Cosmos season was over. This comes just a few days after the school's football team vacated all of its wins. Why? Because a player was found ineligible. A season in which they qualified for the playoffs for the first time in school history. The superintendent making two tough calls in one week. Beyond emotional, it, it, it was truly heartbreaking. According to Nietzsche, it's the athletic director's responsibility to check eligibilities for players. After the football incident, Marty Kirby resigned. The district is now looking for his replacement and offering support to the players of both teams. But right now it's tough for the young kids who did nothing wrong. It's not their, their job to know the rules, it's, it's, it's us. Uh, the, the adults. Just life is tough, you know, things can't always go the way you want it to, so there's obstacles in life and this is a really big one. Yeah, it's tough. The kids just want to play, but in this email, Hamtramck Public Schools believe in being honest at all times and we will ensure that this mistake will not happen again. And Thomas Nietzsche saying we're being transparent and they're hoping it won't ever happen again. In Hamtramck, Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. That is a tough one. All right, Jamie.